A joystick is an input device consisting of a stick that pivots on a base and reports its angle or direction to the device it is controlling. A joystick, also known as the control column, is the principal control device in the cockpit of many civilian and military aircraft, either as a center stick or side stick. It often has supplementary switches to control various aspects of the aircraft's flight. Joysticks are often used to control video games, and usually have one or more push buttons whose state can also be read by the computer. A popular variation of the joystick used on modern video game consoles is the analog stick. Joysticks are also used for controlling machines such as cranes, trucks, underwater unmanned vehicles, wheelchairs, surveillance cameras, and zero-turning radius lawn mowers. Miniature finger-operated joysticks have been adopted as input devices for smaller electronic equipment such as mobile phones. Aviation <inaudible> 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 Joysticks originated as controls for aircraft ailerons and elevators, and are first known to have been used as such on Lewis Blériot's Blériot 8 aircraft of 1908, in combination with a foot-operated rudder bar for the yaw control surface on the tail. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins The name, joystick is thought to originate with early 20th-century French pilot Robert Esno Peltieri. There are also competing claims on behalf of fellow pilots Robert Lorraine, James Henry Joyce, and A. E. George. Lorraine is cited by the Oxford English Dictionary for using the term «joystick» in his diary in 1909 when he went to Pau to learn to fly at Blériot School. George was a pioneer aviator who with his colleague Jobling built and flew a biplane at Newcastle in England in 1910. He is alleged to have invented the George Stick, which became more popularly known as the Joystick. The George and Jobling aircraft control column is in the collection of the Discovery Museum in Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Joysticks were present in early planes, though their mechanical origins are uncertain. The coining of the term Joystick may actually be credited to Lorraine, as his is the earliest known usage of the term, although he most certainly did not invent the device. Electronic joysticks History The electrical two-axis joystick was invented by C. B. Myrick at the United States Naval Research Laboratory and patented in 1926 U.S. Patent No. 1,597,416. NRL was actively developing remote-controlled aircraft at the time and the joystick was possibly used to support this effort. In the awarded patent, Myrick writes, My control system is particularly applicable in maneuvering aircraft without a pilot. The Germans developed an electrical two-axis joystick around 1944. The device was used as part of the Germans' Funkgerät Fug 203 Kell radio control transmitter system used in certain German bomber aircraft, used to guide both the rocket-boosted anti-ship missile Henschel H's 293, and the unpowered pioneering precision-guided munition Fritz X, against maritime and other targets. Here, the joystick of the Kell transmitter was used by an operator to steer the missile towards its target. This joystick had on-off switches rather than analog sensors. Both the H's 293 and Fritz X used FUG 230 Straberg radio receivers in them to send the Kells control signals to the ordnance's control surfaces. A comparable joystick unit was used for the contemporary American Azan steerable munition, strictly to laterally steer the munition in the yaw axis only. This German invention was picked up by someone in the team of scientists assembled at the Heeresversuchsanstalt in Peenemünde. Here a part of the team on the German rocket program was developing the Wasserfall missile, a variant of the V-2 rocket, the first ground-to-air missile. The Wasserfall steering equipment converted the electrical signal to radio signals and transmitted these to the missile. In the 1960s the use of joysticks became widespread in radio-controlled model aircraft systems such as the Quick Fly produced by Phil Kraft 1964. The now defunct Kraft Systems firm eventually became an important OEM supplier of joysticks to the computer industry and other users. 
The first use of joysticks outside the radio-controlled aircraft industry may have been in the control of powered wheelchairs, such as the Permobile During this time period NASA used joysticks as control devices as part of the Apollo missions. For example, the lunar lander test models were controlled with a joystick. In many modern airliners aircraft, for example all Airbus aircraft developed from the 1980s, the joystick has received a new lease on life for flight control in the form of a side stick, a controller similar to a gaming joystick but which is used to control the flight, replacing the traditional yoke. The side stick saves weight, improves movement and visibility in the cockpit, and may be safer in an accident than the traditional control yoke. Topic. Electronic games Ralph H. Baer, inventor of television video games and the Magnavox Odyssey console, released in 1972, created the first video game joysticks in 1967. They were able to control the horizontal and vertical position of a spot displayed on a screen. The earliest known electronic game joystick with a fire button was released by Sega as part of their 1969 arcade game Missile, a shooter simulation game that used it as part of an early dual control scheme, where two directional buttons are used to move a motorized tank and a two-way joystick is used to shoot and steer the missile onto oncoming planes displayed on the screen. When a plane is hit, an explosion is animated on screen along with an explosion sound. In 1970, the game was released in North America as SAMI by Midway Games. Taito released a four way joystick as part of their arcade racing video game Astro Race in 1973, while their 1975 run and gun multi directional shooter game Western Gun introduced dual stick controls with one eight way joystick for movement and the other for changing the shooting direction. In North America, it was released by Midway under the title Gun Fight. In 1976, Taito released Interceptor, an early first-person combat flight simulator that involved piloting a jet fighter, using an eight-way joystick to aim with a crosshair and shoot at enemy aircraft. The Atari Standard Joystick, developed for the Atari 2600, released in 1977, was a digital controller, with a single fire button. The Atari joystick port was for many years the de facto standard digital joystick specification. Joysticks were commonly used as controllers in first and second generation game consoles, but they gave way to the familiar game pad with the Nintendo Entertainment System and Sega Master System during the mid-1980s, though joysticks—especially arcade-style one— were and are popular after market add ons for any console. In 1985, Sega's third person arcade rail shooter game Space Harrier introduced a true analog flight stick, used for movement. The joystick could register movement in any direction as well as measure the degree of push, which could move the player character at different speeds depending on how far the joystick was pushed in a certain direction. A distinct variation of an analog joystick is a positional gun, which works differently from a light gun. Instead of using light sensors, a positional gun is essentially an analog joystick mounted in a fixed location that records the position of the gun to determine where the player is aiming on the screen. It is often used for arcade gun games, with early examples including Sega's Sea Devil in 1972, Taito's Attack in 1976, Crossfire in 1977, and Nintendo's Battle Shark in 1978. During the 1990s, joysticks such as the CH Products Flightstick, Gravis Phoenix, Microsoft Sidewinder, Logitech Wingman, and Thrustmaster FCS were in demand with PC gamers. They were considered a prerequisite for flight simulators such as F-16 Fighting Falcon and LHX Attack Chopper. Joysticks became especially popular with the mainstream success of space flight simulator games like X-Wing and Wing Commander, as well as the Six Degrees of Freedom 3D shooter descent. Verpal Control's MONGOOST-50 joystick was designed to mimic the style of Russian aircraft including the Suhoi Su-35 and Suhoi Su-57, unlike most flight joysticks. However, since the beginning of the 21st century, these types of games have waned in popularity and are now considered a dead genre, and with that, gaming joysticks have been reduced to niche products. In NowGamer's interview with Jim Boone, a producer at Volition Inc., he stated that Freespace 2's poor sales could have been due to joysticks being sold poorly because they were going out of fashion, because more modern first-person shooters, such as Quake, were very much about the mouse and the keyboard. He went further on to state, 
Before that, when we did dissent for example, it was perfectly common for people to have joysticks, we sold a lot of copies of dissent. It was around that time when the more modern FPS with mouse and keyboard came out, as opposed to just keyboard like Wolfenstein 3D or something. Since the late 1990s, analog sticks or thumbsticks, due to their being controlled by one's thumbs, have become standard on controllers for video game consoles, popularized by Nintendo's Nintendo 64 controller, and have the ability to indicate the stick's displacement from its neutral position. This means that the software does not have to keep track of the position or estimate the speed at which the controls are moved. These devices usually use potentiometers to determine the position of the stick, though some newer models instead use a Hall effect sensor for greater reliability and reduced size. Topic: <laughs> Arcade sticks. An arcade stick is a large format controller for use with home consoles or computers. They use the stick and button configuration of some arcade cabinets, such as those with particular multi-button arrangements. For example, the six-button layout of the arcade games Street Fighter II or Mortal Kombat cannot be comfortably emulated on a console joypad, so licensed home arcade sticks for these games have been manufactured for home consoles and PCs. Hat switch A hat switch is a control on some joysticks. It is also known as a POV point of view switch. It allows one to look around in one's virtual world, browse menus, etc. For example, many flight simulators use it to switch the player's views, while other games sometimes use it as a substitute for the D-pad. Computer gamepads with both an analog stick and a D-pad usually assign POV switch scan codes to the latter. The term hat switch is a shortening of the term coolie hat switch, named for the similar looking headgear. In a real aircraft, the hat switch may control things like aileron or rudder trim. Topic: <laughs> DE9 joystick. DE9, often called as Atari type connector, was the most common connector during the 1980s. Asterisk 1, the Atari 7800 buttons require special wiring. Asterisk 2, for the second button, right mouse button the POT X line is used, and for third button, middle mouse button POTI, which, different to the other lines, must be pulled to VCC via the button. Asterisk 3, the CD32 supports game pad mode and uses pin 5 to switch to it, it is pulled to active high by the CD32. Actual CD32 controllers have active components. Regular Atari joysticks will work at the CD32, but CD32 controllers will not work at e.g. a C64. Asterisk 4, the Sega controllers can not be converted into Atari joysticks simply by rewiring them. Unlike regular Atari sticks, they contain pull-up resistors for each signal line which might interfere with scanning the keyboard on C64 and some controllers may contain active circuits and will not work without the VCC. The Mega Drive controllers use an active circuit. The Saturn controllers also contain an active circuit and are wired up completely non-standard. Asterisk 5 The respective GND lines are pulled low to select the respective row. Regular joystick uses row 9. Asterisk 6 pinout refers to the interface 2 Sinclair aka plus 3 Topic <laughs> Industrial Applications In recent times, the employment of joysticks has become commonplace in many industrial and manufacturing applications, such as, cranes, assembly lines, forestry equipment, mining trucks, and excavators. In fact, the use of such joysticks is in such high demand, that it has virtually replaced the traditional mechanical control lever in nearly all modern hydraulic control systems. Additionally, most unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs and submersible remotely operated vehicles ROVs require at least one joystick to control either the vehicle, the onboard cameras, sensors and or manipulators. Due to the highly hands-on, rough nature of such applications, the industrial joystick tends to be more robust than the typical video game controller, and able to function over a high cycle life. 
This led to the development and employment of Hall effect sensing to such applications in the 1980s as a means of contactless sensing. Several companies produce joysticks for industrial applications using Hall effect technology. Another technology used in joystick design is the use of strain gauges to build force transducers from which the output is proportional to the force applied rather than physical deflection. Miniature force transducers are used as additional controls on joysticks for menu selection functions. Some larger manufacturers of joysticks are able to customize joystick handles and grips specific to the OEM needs while small regional manufacturers often concentrate on selling standard products at higher prices to smaller OEMs. <laughs> Assistive technology Specialist joysticks, classed as an assistive technology pointing device, are used to replace the computer mouse for people with fairly severe physical disabilities. Rather than controlling games, these joysticks control the pointer. They are often useful to people with athetoid conditions, such as cerebral palsy, who find them easier to grasp than a standard mouse. Miniature joysticks are available for people with conditions involving muscular weakness such as muscular dystrophy or motor neuron disease as well. They are also used on electric-powered wheelchairs for control since they are simple and effective to use as a control method. See also List of computer hardware Aircraft flight control system The arcade joystick Flight simulator Game controller Gamepad Gravis PC Gamepad Kempston Joystick TAC-2 Yoke Aircraft